Hello, Libra. It's your gender bender prophet, Jess, back once again. Here to deliver a message about Mercury Direct. If you want to support the channel or get a personal service, check it out at the end, all right? We are using the Medicine Woman Tarot by Carol Bridges and the Oracle of the Mermaids by Lucy Cavendish. Take a second to take a breath and put in your vibe for me to pick up in the ether for a more precise message. And as I say that, <laughs> well, bam, cards flip out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You got eight cards. Oh my goodness. But we've taken them all. All right, Mercury direct message for you. Um, you are on top of the world, even if it quakes, which it won't and it will at the same time. The three of stones gathering all that you need, having all that you need, counting everything. Okay, so you're also, it's almost Libra. It is Libra energy. I'm like, yeah, it, Libra energy in, <laughs> in that you are seeing what you have and seeing what you need. And you are weighing out options or uh, moving finances or um, releasing one uh, and, 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 and attaining another. There's, there's um, an assessment and an active evaluation, I feel, going on here. The exemplar of the pipes translated to the king of wands in typical tarot, but this is gender neutral term and I love it so much. Exemplar of the pipes, really taking, really mastering the passion of action, the reason, the cause, the purpose. Really excellent stuff right there. And yeah, you, you're going to see it. The sun, you're going to not only be glad to do the work and have purpose to do the work, you're going to... Um, be gaining sweet nectar at the same time and the image to go along with those words where I saw um, a, a person's face burying into a baby's face. It's a, it's a baby, it's a baby, it's a sweet baby. You know, it's one of the good moments of a baby. Is that kind of, that kind of sensation of loving your life while earning your life. I'm going to write that down. <laughs> loving life while earning life. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely. Um, four of stones, four of pentacles. Uh, so I'm sensing when Mercury goes direct, Libra's going to have a release and then a time to evaluate and gain. When that happens... Because I feel like a little bit of linear time, like first one, then the other. Ripple effects, time is our friend. Um, when that happens, yeah, there is a little bit of a warning here, I'm feeling. Because you have teaching lodge of the arrows or queen of swords. You have the tower and you have the nine of arrows or the nine of swords. So what I'm sensing is a is a real need to be very calm and centered. Because your ego may have been wronged or you feel that your core is affected by the goings on outside of you or you've attached your core, you've attached yourself and think that your core is affected or therefore your core is affected and you're reevaluating that. And it's time to retract and hold it in your sacral chakra, it will hurt. This is the type of, um, this is the price of the magic of being a grown human being and not acting childish. It's being able to stomach and hold this um, self-reflection. It's neither negative nor positive. That's just the way it's worded. However, the queen of swords... I love that it's the teaching lodge of the arrows because the sword is double-edged. The arrow is sharp on both sides. So you want to be very careful because what can be a tool can also be an accident. And it can also be a weapon should a threat arise. What you are harnessing at this point in time, Libra, 
especially when this breath of hold up, wait a minute, let me get my thoughts in it. The whole point is with a little bit more mindfulness, you can soften your edge or successfully navigate an accident to not have any casualties. And that's to me not step on, e on anybody's toes or hurt anybody's feelings simply because you are reacting to the world. Which is authentic and genuine and, and you're right. But I think you're picking up what I'm throwing down here. Because then you, the tower. For two other signs I, I, I shared this message and it's relevant here as well. I pulled a tower card for myself during Mercury Retrograde. That day was beautiful. It felt soft. It felt real. Like I, I was connecting the dots of my family's karma. And because I understood it more, I was able to let it go. The tension that I was holding because of it. It was no longer mine. It was properly theirs. Return to sender. Forgiveness. That's not my life anymore. Goddess bless. It can be gentle, but it can be important. And this is a shedding of the self, which is very important. And I definitely love how Carol depicts the Nine of Arrows, which is the Nine of Swords, which if you're familiar with tarot, a lot of people associate it with negative things. This is not so in this case. We have overcome doubt and fear by trusting your decision. And it fits so well with the shape of the Nine. Full circle in the thought trusting your your in, intellectual decision because some things do not call for root chakra based action that root chakra based action is for you in this case not reacting and you have to trust that decision to not react so much yeah, 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 yeah. Not to say that there's this crumble, this crumble. I just saw something like it might be the tiniest. I just saw like an aunt get the news that their nephew didn't get into the college they wanted. And that to them is a tower moment because all of that hope and dream for that person no longer applies. The tower moment can be like that as well. Let things leave that are leaving, okay? Okay. Because that's how you earn the life. That's how you create, allow for the, that's how you, when you do that, you allow it to work to your benefit by allowing space for something new. Every time. Every time on every scale of tower moments, all right? This has come up for several signs. The present. And that is what any loss will force you into. Because, and make you realize that your present moment had been so greatly affected by future circumstance, which is unstable. It's not, you are writing it as you go, yes, but how you live in the present moment is how it's written and then how you write how you live in the present moment determines how you meet those ripple effects so maybe next time life happens you won't be nearly as upset or upset at all you'll be in a place of well the wise farmer says maybe you know, it can anything can happen in this world. What's happening is for the highest and greatest good of all involved in every moment of every day in every way. There it is, Libra. Take care, Rock on. I love you for loving yourself. You know where to find me. And um, yeah, if you would like to support the channel, please like, share, subscribe. Get the pe get the message out there to others. 
always very helpful when starting from scratch over here. And um, you can donate to the channel. I do accept donations. They're never expected, always appreciated. You can get a personal service. Links to do either of those actions are down below in the information box along with the instructions to what a personal service looks like and information on how to get my book, but keep an eye out for videos for me reading it out loud on my YouTube channel for lots of reasons. And you can also get artwork. If you want me to send what I have available uh, just for you to see, uh, please reach out and I'd love to share. Peace.